Hey guys, it's me Drew, and I am here to do a Vintage Chic Sense unboxing sort of review video for you, first impressions. Um, I haven't filmed a whole lot of Vintage Chic Sense videos. I ordered so much stuff, I just got super overwhelmed, so it's all put away. Um, there's a lot of videos from the last restock on there. I ordered a bunch, but for this restock... I only ordered a mystery box. I was not going to order because, like I said, I have so, so, so much wax. So much. And I was like, do I really need to order anything else? No, I didn't. And then I waited and then stuff sold out and I didn't even make a wish list. Anything, I'm like, I'm not ordering this month. And then they posted, Kirby posted that there was a mystery box that's still left. And I'm like, order. One mystery box. I said maybe there'll be some scents from this restock. There were. So I get to try some scents. And whatever. I can always use some more wax. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. So this is a mystery box. Um, I've already taken everything out and labeled everything um, scent-wise. But you always get your business card, Vintage Chic Scents. And then it has Kirby Welsh, the owner. There we go. Her email, her Facebook, or her website, and her Facebook page. Now, I actually thought I did this, but I didn't. I did not label the sample. You always get a two-ounce scent shot sample. So let me actually look. This guy is Dracula. And you would think that I would remember what it was, but I don't. So let me take a quick look. Oops at the Facebook page, Facebook group, so I can see what the scent is. For one, it is super, super pretty. It has lots of glitter on it. It smells really good. It smells like a little bit of a bakery with cinnamon, is what I think. I'm not 100% positive. I don't remember. Hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. So how you guys doing? I know this isn't ideal, but Dracula. Here we go. Pecan caramel swirl sugar cookie dough marshmallow. So sugary, sweet, nutty, all those good scents, and it smells really good. I pick up on the nuts and the cinnamon and the caramel. I don't get any of the marshmallow or the cookie dough, but there's that guy. So mystery box time. There's some scents in here I really don't like um, this time, so I'll probably give this away. The first, I got a two-pack of roses in the Philadelphia Story, which is strawberry passion, pistachio pudding cake, and cotton candy frosting. Now, I smelled these all as soon as they came, but it's been sitting for like a week. Oh yeah, it just, it smells like pistachio pudding cake and like strawberry candies. Whew, it's very strong in the pistachio pudding cake extremely strong whoa so what i'm doing with my vcs i don't know if i told you people say like a year cure time is like amazing for it and i'm like oh there's no way i'm gonna wait for a year i have so many candles and i have so much wax a year cure time is not gonna kill me at all so i'm ordering every month trying to order at least that every month so i can um just build up a collection so every uh in a year I have stuff, I believe, from June, so in June of next year I'll be able to melt everything all the time. So this one is I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus, another two roses. So it's Cookie Monster, which is like a sugar cookie dough bread type of spell, with warm cookie bars, dried cranberries, cherry chips, and marshmallows. This is hard. I... It smells like a very light, light bakery scent. So I smell like the cranberry. It's almost like, if you remember the cranberry bars that they have at um, Starbucks, they have like frosting and cranberries on them and something else. I don't remember, but that's what it smells like to me. Yeah, it smells like that. It's not super strong. It's not one that I'm like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with it, so. We'll see. There's a couple here that I really love. I got 
this little bag of some it's two different shapes I'll show you this is a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving so sweet potato pie toasted marshmallow sugar cookies and caramel cupcakes Oops. so this I've never seen before this is an interesting I guess it's like part of like a Dahlia but it looks a little different and then it came with a leaf so it came with two of these this smells really really good I smell the sweet potato pie I smell this bakery sweetness which is the toasted marshmallow and the sugar cookie and then I smell like some caramel it's really really good I really I really like this one I think it'll be perfect for Thanksgiving next year but I'm just gonna stick these back in the bag and I don't know for some reason I think it's kind of cool that like I have like so much wax that from her that I can just store it for a while and then like forget about it and be like oh my gosh I remember that smell then this is cookie monster in Salem so this is a three pack of roses or two roses no three roses they're just orange roses like this this is amazing. This is sugar cookies, sugar cookie dough, buttercream frosting, sugar milk, pumpkin, and cinnamon sugar donuts. And it smells amazing. It smells like the pumpkin donuts. It smells like, it just smells like everything that you would want it to, to be. Sugary, buttery, pumpkin-y, donut -y. It's really yummy. So this is going to be probably the hardest one for me to melt or to not melt. But I'll try my hardest. Oh, this guy. Christmas Eve Fest, or Christmas Eve Feast, I think, Feast, Feast, it literally just looks like a hunk of pie, I don't like this, I believe this is the one that I don't like, Ugh. Ooh. yeah, it's like super strong, it's cranberry garlands, orange peels, warm cinnamon, and fur, I typically like, I don't mind Christmas tree smells, but ugh, this blend is like, overpowering I don't really like it then candle magic which is apple and pear cider and I really like this and this mold is a little haunted house can we talk about how cute that is and it smells so good it smells like apple cider and it smells like a little bit of like a crunchy pear mmm it is delightful I'm actually, my friend is at the pumpkin patch right now, and the place where it is. She's actually, um, she has a little baby, and I'm watching him later tonight. And I said, oh, can you pick me up some apple cider? Because she's there. And I'm like, oh, I better let her know before she leaves. This guy, Night of the Living Dead, also a good blend. It's Satsuma, Blonde Moment, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Sugar, and Zucchini Bread. Take a look. It's so cute. I love this mold. Oh, it smells so good. I can smell the Satsuma. It smells like the Body Shop Satsuma, like that bright orange, and Zucchini Bread. I don't get the Vanilla... Be Noel or the Blonde Moment, but I get the other notes and it smells really good. Phantom of the Opera. This is really good. This is Spiced Pumpkin Marshmallow Zucchini Bread. So I actually got like all fall scents and like a couple Christmas in this, which is nice. So that way I will be able to hold them for next year. I love this. It's like a little bunt cake. And this smells so good. I smell the pumpkin, I smell the marshmallow, I smell the zucchini bread, but the pumpkin's like spiced pumpkin, so it's like, mmm, it smells like pumpkin bread, like a spicy pumpkin bread. I love that. Then I have Cheshire's Grin. I've talked about this before. I got it in a big bag, it, or uh, a loaf. Lavender birthday cake, cotton candy frosting, and marshmallow. Grandma's Pearls. And this, these are three little ghosts. It's marshmallow, lavender, vanilla. I believe I also talked about this scent before. It's, to me, it just smells like lavender, vanilla, but a little bit sweeter. 
the standouts. The great... Well, that didn't focus at all. The great coffee pumpkin. Can you talk about how freaking cute those are? The little ghost and little witch's hat. So it's pumpkin layer cake, cream cheese frosting, and cafe cubano. So, coffee. It smells like fresh coffee with cream. And pumpkin cake. And it's yummy. This... These next three are going to be the hardest for me not to melt. <laughs> of the Warrens, which is the gooey marshmallow glaze cinnamon donuts in Cider Lane. To me, it just smells like Cider Lane. And these are little flowers. Kind of interesting for fall, but I love the way that this smells. Oh, I mean, ooh, now that I smell it, I smell the Cider Lane, but I really get the cinnamon donut. That's interesting. I really get the cinnamon donut in here more than the cider line. The cider line's like a caramel apple. So yeah, these are going to be cooking up real nice in the box for next year. And then last but not least is the hit of this box. Not only are the shapes super adorable, but the scent is White Witch. Guys, you don't even know. Rain, Bonfire, and Crunchy Leaves. I watched Notorious Liz's video, and I was like... Please, please let me have White Witch in my box. Oh, it smells so good. So, it smells like a watery men's cologne. With the essence of fall. And I know that's like, the essence of fall. But it, it does, it smells like the essence of fall. So the leaves. Um, the, like, smokiness of the bonfire. Mm, it's incredible. And... Can you stop? Like, stop. These little ghosts are just adorable. And you know what? They look so sad, and they're going to be so sad when they're in the warmer. Just plop him in, and he just melts away. My room's going to smell good. But, buddy, you're going to be all melted. Well, that was it. I got a lot of wax in that box. And she always puts um, bubble wrap at the bottom, which is nice. But, yes. So I got a lot of wax in that box. Um, really excited to try out everything. Um, well, not yet, but you know what I mean. So I hope you guys had a fantastic rest of your day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.